What is malnutrition? Imagine if our communities are filled with children who are strong, healthy, and well-nourished. Their bodies get enough energy and nutrients to grow and develop well. Sadly, this is not a reality for many children. As you care for the children in your community, you may see that some are not getting enough nutritious food for their bodies to grow properly. This threat is called malnutrition, and if it continues for a long time, it can cause lifelong damage such as impaired growth and developmental delays. Malnourished children are more likely to die than well-nourished children. There are different types of malnutrition, but this module will focus on undernutrition. This is when a child does not get enough nutrients to grow and develop properly. The child can be affected in several ways. First, undernutrition for a short time can cause wasting, which is a low weight for height. They will appear thin. If a child does not get enough nutrients for a long time, this affects their growth and they may be stunted, which means have low height for age. They will look short for their age. Long-term undernutrition can also cause a child to be underweight, which is low weight for age. An underweight child may be wasted, stunted, or both. Severe and continuous malnutrition can lead to kwashiorkor or marasmus. Kwashiorkor is caused by a severe lack of protein. This is often because the child is not eating enough protein but can be made worse by absorption difficulties if the child has measles or diarrheal illnesses. This lack of protein causes fluid to gather in the body, leading to swelling called nutritional oedema. Common signs of kwashiorkor are a round face and a distended or round stomach. Also, look out for swollen feet and legs. Another video will show you how to identify if the child may have kwashiorko by checking for swelling of both feet. Marasmus occurs when the child has not taken in enough calories and does not have the energy to keep their body working properly. To identify marasmus, look out for a child who is thin, weak, and tired. They may also be short for their age due to malnutrition during their critical growth periods. A video in this module will show you how to determine if the child may have marasmus by a red reading on the mid-upper arm circumference, or MOAG tape. By recognizing these signs of malnutrition, you can take steps to get children the support they need to recover from malnutrition.